Hi everyone, how are you? This is Mari Carmen and I am translating this tutorial made by Gabriela Carita. This tutorial will explain how to get the spectral signatures of soil coverage with QGIS3 and the semi-automatic classification plugin. So first of all, let's define what is a spectral signature. A spectral signature is the representation of the reflectance in function of the wavelength. We can observe a spectral signature here, and we can observe that the reflectance is in the y-axis and the wavelength is in the x-axis. Here we can see three different spectral signatures, well, four different spectral signatures, and they are different objects. So here we have the, the spectral signature of the grass. We have the um, a spectral signature of the tree canopy of a different tree. And we also have uh, the spectral signature of dry, yellowed grass. As you can see, the spectral signatures are, are um, some of them are very different. Some of them are slightly different. And, but we can see that there is a big difference between the dry yellowed grass and the other vegetation signatures. So the vegetation signature is very particular because here in the visible region we can see that there is a low reflectance. We can see that there is a, a higher reflectance in the green region, but we here in the near infrared region we can see that the reflectance is really high. Okay, so if we want to know the reflectance of different soil coverages or different objects, we can, we can get them with QGIS3. To do so, we're going to QGIS3 and in here, we're going to open a project. In this project, I have a Sentinel-2 satellite image and I have all the bands. I also have this this image which is a virtual band set and we have uh, we did the training before so now we have the classification and everything ready to get the spectral signatures we are going to use the semi-automatic classification plugin which you can download going to plugins manage and install plugins and here you can look for semi-automatic classification plugin. You click on there and then you click on install plugin. So you click on install plugin and then close and you're going to get this menu toolbar which is SCP and you can start the plugin by clicking on show plugin. And here you have the window of the plugin. But in this case, we're going to use the SCP doc, which is next to layers. And to open the training file, you only have to go to training input and then click on, on this symbol and look for your training input. In my case, I've already opened it. So uh, here I have the, the training file. You just have to click and click on open. And then you will have the classification um, information of your training um, exercise. So to get the spectral signatures, I have different classes in here. I have legs, buildings, roads, buildings and roads, forest, bare soil, clouds and agriculture. So if we want to compare the spectral signatures, we can click on one of them, for instance, the leg one, and then click on this symbol, which is add highlighted signatures to spectral signature plot. Okay, so now here we can see the spectral signature of the leg. As you can see, this spectral signature is very representative of water. So we are um, 
we are analyzing the spectral signatures of different regions of interest. And this file means that we were able to classify the satellite image according to the pixel value of the different land use of their region of interest. And the region of interest are defined according to the classes that we want to represent. Okay, so we can observe the behavior of the lake and we can see that there is variability in the reflectance. Each dotted line represents the type of band and the spectral signature covers the visible zone and the infrared zone. For the lake, we can see that the reflectance diminishes as the wavelength increases. So, as you can see here, we see a, a higher reflectance. It is very low, but it is higher than in the other region. And now, let's see the vegetation spectral signature. So we're going to click on forest and then we're going to click again in this symbol. Now as you can see the forest spectral signature it is different to the leg one. So here in the visible zone we have higher reflectance and a peak on the green zone. Here we can see a small peak. And we can see that the forest reflects more green color and it reflects higher infrared light. So here in the infrared zone we can see that there is a higher reflectance. So here we can also see that the that the reflectance in the short wave infrared is lower because the water of the plant is absorbing the energy. Now we're going to click on bare soil and check its spectral signature. We can see that bare soil is the yellow one and the bare soil reflects more the energy because the water of the plants are is not absorbing more energy. This this signature may be similar to the construction one. So let's click on buildings. And now this red one we can see that it is similar to the to the yellow one but here we see a shadow or a different um, a transparency that indicates the variability of the of the samples in the class of buildings. So we can see that there is a high variability in the samples of the um, of the building class, which means that the information is not very homogeneous. Okay, so now let's click on buildings and roads to see what happens. And here in buildings and roads, we can see that the spectral signature is very similar and the reflectance tends to increase with wavelength due to the rugosity of the, um, of the buildings and roads. So this is all for this tutorial, I hope you, you enjoyed it and it was helpful for you. I'll see you in the next one, thank you.